Francis! I might be discovered! Hmm, what do I have to do? Yep, thanks to a new ocean census called, well, Ocean Census, we might be hearing a lot more about strange creatures lurking in the depths of our ocean. Because the truth is, much of this vast underwater realm remains a mystery. And although the ocean covers about 70% of the planet's surface, we've only explored about 10% of it. And scientists reckon there's probably millions of species yet to be discovered. Our knowledge of where life is in the ocean, how much of it there is, uh, is very limited. And without that knowledge, we can't modify our human activities to conserve that life for future generations. Yes. So a group of scientists from the UK and Japan have teamed up to do something about it. They plan to identify 100,000 new species in the next 10 years before things like overfishing and global warming drive entire populations to extinction. It is an ambitious endeavour, but without understanding what animals live where and what they do, we cannot hope to understand how our oceans are going to respond in the future or how we can best protect them. And they need protecting. You see, the ocean's home to up to 80% of life on our planet. And it's no secret that our world is getting hotter all the time. And with 90% of global warming occurring in the ocean, sea temperatures are going up and sea levels are rising too. And this is having a huge impact on marine life. We are in a race against time. We have global warming, the ocean's losing oxygen, it's acidifying, and as a result, we're losing species. Unless we can drastically reduce the global carbon emissions, coral reefs will not survive. You are clear to dive, dive, dive. So the plan is to launch dozens of expeditions to discover and describe new marine species before they disappear. Submarines, robots and even artificial intelligence are just some of the tools they'll be using. And they say with massive advances in technology, it'll be easier to explore the unknown and do DNA analysis on new identified creatures. And we can generate that baseline understanding of, of their genomes and forevermore there's a record of what that organism's DNA looked like. We need people to fall in love with the majesty and the wonder of ocean life if we're going to have any chance of protecting it. What is your favourite meal? Crab, shrimp or submarine? 